divine words written were once more recounted. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And of the great Those who had sought high and low for the boy king laid their gifts, paid tributes to the one who had come for all. people that represented empires and kingdoms from the east that were responding to something that they that was that they understood that come through prophecy some 600 years prior to the event that we're talking about tonight which has happened some 2,000 years ago and we've been tonight just portraying the story of 
this person Jesus Christ. The Bible describes him that when he was he was born, that um, that his name would be Emmanuel, and uh, and that lining up with a, another prophecy that was given some 700 years prior to what we're talking about 2,000 years ago, that a child, a man-child, would be born to a virgin, and he would be, his name would be Emmanuel, which means God with us for eternity. The magic that we, uh, the magic that we've just been hearing from, they were seeking out a king. They were seeking out a king that the Bible says that there, that his kingdom was going to be a, a kingdom that would reign for eternity. The most significant thing, there's lots of things we can say about Christmas and, and the Christmas story, but what it's really all about is it's about the God of eternity coming in human form via the birth of a virgin to come and step into humanity. The significant thing about that is, is he was to bring what he's all about, and what his name represented, the, the God with us for eternity. It's not just God with us. Sometimes we can think of it as, are you God with us? That's what Jesus, that's what, what he means. And we can think of it from that perspective. And uh, it's just God with which means perhaps it could be God with us for now and God not with us later, or was God with us yesterday, but he's not with us now. But God with us means that when we enter into a personal relationship with him, by putting just our simple trust and our faith in what this whole presentation is all about, and that is God coming to make a way so that humanity might be able to enter into an eternal relationship with him at a personal level. See, entering into that relationship with the God of eternity is not something that you can be born into. It's not something you can be coerced into. It's not something you can be forced into. And, and probably history shows us that many have tried to force people into a faith. Others have tried to coerce people into a, a faith. And there are many who believe that they're born into a faith. but. The only way that we come into that faith in what Jesus Christ is all about is that we make a personal decision. And that personal decision is as we make a decision to believe that this whole story be true. Just for one moment, imagine this whole story be true. That 2,000 years ago, at this event that we're celebrating tonight, that was prophesied hundreds of years prior that God would come and He would make a way for every single human being to step into a personal relationship with Him. That's what Christmas is all about. It's about God coming to us to offer us eternal life. Another scripture in the Bible refers to the fact that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And whosoever shall believe in Him will inherit eternal life. That's what it's all about. That's what Christmas is all about. It's all about God making a way so that you and I can enter into a God with us relationship that lasts for eternity. That affects our day to day world, our day to day lives. Our belief in Him and belief in what it's all about can affect literally every part of your life, can affect every aspect of your life, can affect the coming to goings of your ordinary everyday life. It can affect the, the impact and the influence it has on the circumstances of life that can be adverse at times. That relationship that, with God that we can have with Him that's ours through what this story is all about is eternal an eternal relationship. That means it's a, a forever. And it's not just a forever in the future, it's a for now. That's why tonight we've... Uh, We've been telling a story that's 2,000 years old that even goes back hundreds of years before that, the foretelling of this story, and we've presented it in a contemporary way, which just means 
but just for today. Because see, the gospel of Jesus Christ isn't something about yesterday. It's not about 2,000 years ago, although it started 2,000 years ago. It's about today. And every single one of us can live in that relationship with him. Today. It's not a religion. Christianity is not a religion. It's a personal faith that brings us into a relationship that has an eternal consequence. So tonight, you know what it would be? It would be wrong to stand here and declare it. It would be wrong to portray it and not actually give people the opportunity to say, well, God, if this be real, just imagine if everything that we've seen is real and everything I've been speaking of is real. It has the potential to have an incredible impact on your life. The majority of people in this arena tonight were to testify the fact that it's real. It's, not, it's real. What I want to do is I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pray. And uh, I want to pray from the perspective of you know I don't really know every single person in this place. It might come to a surprise to a few but I don't <laughs> some of you are bought by by friends other you, others of you, you found out this was on and you, you are here. But I just for a moment want you to contemplate. Imagine if this be true. If this be true, why would you not want to receive what it is that God has got for you? And I want to just, just in this moment, if you're in a position and you, if I was to ask you, do you know Jesus personally? Do you know him in a way you can say, yeah, and you think, you think, well, explain that to me. How does that work? Know him personally. It's very difficult to explain until you've experienced it, and then you, you can say, well, let me try and explain what it means to have a relationship with Jesus. Well, it's like this. It's like this. It's like that. Well, I don't know. It's just, I just know it's real because I've experienced, because, see, that's ultimately what it is. It's, because that's why it's a personal relationship with God that we enter into with eternal consequence and for eternity. It's something that we experience a relationship with God. We just don't mentally decide it to be true. We actually somehow, there's this experience that we get with God. And for many of you, just in, in some of the movements of the songs, these, these are just people, these are people in our church. Whole, everyone doing everything, people in our church. And they're singing these songs, they're not just singing songs to perform, they're, they're singing songs that are very real to them. And you can see that, you can sense that, because it's very personal. And I just want to give everybody an opportunity to be able to walk out and say, you know, I went to a carol service and I think I encountered God. I think you know, I encountered what the, what the carol service was all about. But if that's you, all I want to do is I want to pray for you. And all I want, to, want you to do is just simply say this in your own heart. If this be true, God, I, I think I want this. Uh, show me, reveal yourself to me, and he'll do that. Because that's what it's about. So let me pray. Father, Lord, I thank you for every single person in this place. Lord, wherever they're at questioning, pondering, imagine if this whole story be true, that they could enter into a personal relationship with you. Lord, if that be true, and that be the desire, as people reach out to you right now, Jesus, I pray that you would just take everything about what tonight is about, that has so far been a presentation to people, that Lord, it would become a real life experience because they encounter you. Draw people to yourself tonight, Lord. Reveal yourself at a personal level, we pray. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, let me sing this together. Thank you, Lord.